So around a week ago, I made a video about a very popular streamer named Aiden Ross and the fact that he was very likely going to be switching away from Twitch and taking his talents to a website called Kick that's apparently being funded by an offshore gambling website called Stake. This of course all comes off the back of Aiden saying that people over at Twitch were trying to silence him after he had gotten very close with the top G after a trip to Romania, where he fell in love with that Tate family lifestyle, even going as far as sniffing the man's seat. And while some of Aiden's biggest D writers will write that off as a mere joke, I know I'm not putting my face anywhere near where a man just had his boys. But hey, maybe that's just me. Either way, over the last week, Aiden has been involved in numerous controversies, and he's also seemed to have made a decision about where he's gonna now be streaming full time. So it really all started when earlier this week, Aiden fired up his stream on Kick and decided to show off the front page of The Hub to around 86,000 concurrent viewers, most of which I assume to be under the age of 18 years old. What do y'all want to watch on my bro? What do y'all want to watch, bro? I don't support porn. Like, I don't, I don't support this shit. The fuck do y'all want to watch on here, bro? I don't support this shit. I don't condone it. I don't support it. Now, I'm going to have to completely black out the screen that he's showing. Like, I'm not even going to show the blurred version I can see here because YouTube's TOS is so finicky. But he straight up just has this adult website pulled up for all of his underage viewers to see. What the fuck do y'all want to watch? There's no fucking way. What? You're just having this on stream. Is that bad? What? Ew, bro, I'm not looking at the- No, come here. It's purple, bro. Her nipples are like purple. Transplant, don't matter, burn M. Chat, do y'all still beat your meat, yes or no? I don't want to watch this shit either, bro. This is bad. Like, what the fuck do you have pulled up? Yeah, this is this is stupid as fuck, huh? You get a little hard? No. Wait, how old are you guys in the chat, bro? So a lot of people in the chat are saying they're 12 years old, 13 years old. 14, 15 years old, and he claims there, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know a lot of you guys were underage. Like, I'm pretty sure the average Twitch viewer is a minor, and I would think the majority of his audience is just suburban kids. This also led to a lot of people calling Aiden a hypocrite after he had made this statement only a month ago about hot tub streams on Twitch. I think we have a problem, Twitch. I think there's the hot tub streams, bro. I think it's it should be banned from Twitch. I think hot tub streaming should be banned from Twitch. It's a portal to OnlyFans. It's in the same category as gambling, right? Because it's it's promoting poison, uh, you know what I'm saying, in the brain, and it's 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 making people addicted to to uh, it's feeding their addiction to to jerking off, which is a serious problem we have, you know. Um, it, it's just a fact, in my opinion. So yeah, in the course of one month, he went from spreading messages like that to straight up just pulling up the hub on stream. And I'm not going to say I disagree with what he's saying here because I do think young men watching adult videos is a serious problem. But I also think if you're going to ban those hot tub streams, you might as well ban the entire internet at this point. Because no matter what app you go on, there's going to be some sort of like thirst trap, some sort of gateway images, some sort of gateway videos. I mean, to me, it's almost like you're going up to a restaurant and telling them, hey, you guys should stop selling liquor because it's bad for people. And it's like, okay, we do know that liquor's bad for you, and we do know that we're providing it, but so is everyone else, and they're out here making money just like we're trying to. We're trying to survive, and so we're going to keep selling it. It's like Capitalism 101. And so then there's this guy out there who goes by the name Jake Sucky. And a lot of people in the Twitch community do have a distaste towards him. Because a lot of times he is kind of acting as the Ranzel of the internet. And so a lot of people think he's some sort of snitch. He's some sort of hall monitor. But to me it's just like, hey man, he's only reposting the things that y'all are doing on your streams. And after he posted that clip where Aiden Ross was showing that adult website to his followers, Aiden DMs him, keep yourself safe. As you guys can see, it's a little Ackerman, K-Y-S, you guys know what that means. And that doesn't seem so positive or loving to me, like this guy said that was going to be his pure message now. Just love everyone, bro, I'm telling you. When, you. when you literally learn to just love everything and everyone, and even though someone may not like you, your whole life will change, your perspective on life will change. And now that we're a couple weeks removed from him saying that, he's all up in his feelings over someone posting a clip that he himself decided to create. Like, no one made you go to that website, my guy. And it's safe to say that a lot of these clips have not been aging well. 
and you guys don't want to have those types of problems. And that's why I'm so excited to be once again teaming up with Teach Hanley for the sponsor of today's video. You guys already know my friends over at Teach Hanley. They're the best skincare system for men on the market, and I have personally been using their products daily for almost two years now. With Teach, they make things very simple. I recommend their level one system that consists of a daily face wash, an AM and PM moisturizer to keep you fresh all day, and of course an exfoliating scrub that you will use twice a week. At this point, skincare with Teach Hanley has become part of my daily routine, and the best part is that it takes me only a couple of minutes to complete, which I feel is a small price to pay for having great skin as you get older. Teach Hanley members get 20% off retail price, free shipping within the US, and can also customize their box or cancel their subscription whenever they please. And to make the offer even better, Teej has given my audience 30% off your first box, as well as a free gift with your purchase. I'm telling you guys, it's never too early to start taking care of your skin, and I personally wish I would have started much earlier. So click the link below, invest in yourself, and begin your skincare journey today with Teej Hanley. And so that right there was the first controversy, and then later on also while streaming on Kick, People started also saying that Aiden Ross was racist after this clip came out. Twitch suck my dick. Niggas is really out here on Super Bowl Sunday. Niggas can suck my dick. Yeah, niggas can suck my dick real quick. Nigga, nigga. And so people were basically saying that he was out of pocket for that. As some of you guys might know, over the years, Aiden Ross has featured quite a few black people on his stream, and he's definitely engaged and tapped into that market to grow himself into the millionaire that he is today. So people find this behavior kind of unacceptable, like the caption said, he never fucked with us, just used black people for views. People were pretty much saying that it was messed up that he as a white guy was letting this other white guy get all those n-words off. And then this was Aiden's response to people calling him a racist. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys, like, look around, like, and see, like, if I'm really racist, but, like, look around, bro. I, I love everyone for them. I don't care about your, your skin, your religion, any of that shit, bro. And honestly, bro, without black culture, there would no, there would not be Aiden Ross. It's facts, bro. Um, I've had a lot of people, you know, that I've collaborated with. I've had a lot of, I have a lot of friends, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just true, bro. Like, Black, without black culture, there's no way to rocks, and it's facts, bro. It's facts. If you guys genuinely feel some type of way, and you guys are questioning me and questioning if I'm really racist, go talk to my friends that are a part of this, a part of this uh, streaming internet shit. Go ask them. Have you ever been around Aiden? He said some racist shit. Have you ever been out? Have you ever been around Ra Aiden? And he said some shit that basically makes you double, double guess or double think. So he basically said, okay, you know, you guys who actually still think I'm racist, go talk to my black friends about it. Now, do I personally see him as a racist person? Absolutely not. But I do find it interesting that his friend was so comfortable talking to him in that way, when neither of them are black. And then Aiden also had this to say to his Twitter critics. You guys are literally cancer, bro. You're cancer. You are cancer, bro. Twitter, bro. Because you guys are the reason why the internet is soft. It's you. You guys are creating this cancel culture bullshit. It's stupid as f It just is, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, you can be mad at Twitter and you can be mad at cancel culture. Like, I will admit that Twitter does tend to run with things rather quickly. But the fact is, you made the conscious decision to stream to your underage audience. And then Aiden decided to make this, like, LeBron James, the decision type of little parody when he was announcing that he would be moving from Twitch to Kick. I, I decided to take, I, I decided I want to take my talents. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for joining us. Aiden wants to win. Damn, don't you wanna know where I'm streaming? Yo. So Aiden Ross, now streaming on Kick. I guess that means the deal actually went through. And to me, I'm just kind of ballparking this, but I would guess this exclusivity deal, if that's where it is at this point, is in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Which is insane for a platform to lock down one influencer, but this guy is averaging like 90 to 100,000 viewers every time he decides to stream on Kick. And I do find this move to be very interesting. I mean, I don't know if Kick is gonna last like as a platform. But as for now, I do always think it's a good thing when there's some sort of competition amongst these types of services, whether that be YouTube, whether that be Twitch, whether that be TikTok, it's good for creators to have some sort of options. Now, do I also think that Aiden has been treading some very dangerous waters lately and really going all out with a message that's essentially you guys i'm gonna do what i want yes i do i mean he's obviously going a little bit too far and the streaming of the 
thing was really just the craziest part to me. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this move down below. I've asked you guys this question before, but it does seem like it could quickly be becoming a reality. Would you guys follow your favorite streamer or your favorite YouTuber to one of these alternative websites? Let me know down below in the comments. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like, and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman, and some other streamer drama out here needs to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!